Hey guys, Anthony here from Labworks. Um, just wanted to show you guys how to make these things here in um, in Adobe Illustrator. So the request came in um, if someone could make something like these things here. Um, I just thought I'd make a little tutorial on how to do that. Um, it's really quite easy to do in Illustrator. Um, so what I'm going to do is get my text tool in Illustrator, and I'm just going to I'm just going to type in the word senior font that I'm using is called Limited um, and we'll just change the size up a little bit to 100 okay so we've got our text object here let's put in a year, the year as well so we can demonstrate how uh, two text objects can work at the same time with the same grouping um, let's pop in here 2024 Make this quite small. There's our text. Just make it a little bit bigger. So this is our um, our text here. So we want to select it. We want to group. So we got object group. And then we've got our group of text here. So the next step we want to do is we want to go to our appearance window. So we click window click appearance and we just want to select our group and we want to click up here in this little uh, three lines here and just go add a new stroke so we add new stroke and just leave it all as default for now press the FX button down the bottom and we just want to go to path offset path and you can change the uh, the default settings here but all I used for mine was uh, six millimeters for this bottom one here. Is eight millimeters offset for that one. So I'm just going to go six millimeters and click OK. Now you can see that it's all pretty messed up still at the moment, which is OK. So what we need to do now, before we do anything else, click the FX button down the bottom here, um, and we want to go to Pathfinder. We want to click Add. And that just uh, cleans up all the lines, joins all the paths. Um, so once we've done that we can close that window and we've got this here um, so what we need to do now because we want to add this little ring this little ring here we want to add to this stroke that goes around it now at the moment the stroke is part of the layers what that is there um, but we don't need that part we don't need that part Okay, so we want to add the little ring up the top there. So what we need to do first is we need to go, we, we need to select our object that we've created, click on object, and then click on expand appearance. What it does is it expands out all these elements that we can uh, we can use um, separately. So we can merge other objects with this joint with this line around the outside. So what, what I want to do next. Is I want to click on right click on here and go to ungroup so now you'll see you're able to drag this offset path around I'm not quite sure what they are they shouldn't be there um, but we can fix that up what I'll do I'll just hide our text just hide our text let's have a look and see what those little dots are just delete them there we go okay so let's have a look now so now now that we've got this here we can manipulate that line by itself that's great uh, what we want to do here is just click on our text first which is group and we want to go to type and then we want to go down to create outlines and what that does is it just it t turns the type uh, or the typeface into um, vector shapes that we can manipulate in other software without having to have that font installed um, and what we need to do now so we've got these little lines that are going in here so if we were to do a um, a line in Lightburn for example it would actually do them lines so what we want to do while that's selected we want to go to our pathfinder and we just want to hit this unite and that cleans up those lines that are in there so that's all good and well 
So now we just want to create a ring for the key ring. So we just use our uh, ellipse tool and just click in here. I'm going to make it the outer ring 12 millimeters. Um, you can make it whatever you like. Uh, let's change our stroke to black. Change our fill to none. And that's our outer ring. Whoops. That's our outer ring. And then what we need to do next is we need to create our inner ring. So we just do the same thing. I'm just going to make it eight. So the ring is going to be four millimeters. Um, four millimeters. It's probably a bit much for a key ring, but I mean, if we're working with um, you know, thin ply or thin MDF, they're going to be quite fragile. These rings, um, and they will they will snap pretty easy. If you're going to do it with acrylic, though, it'd probably be a little bit stronger. Um, so now we've got these two rings here, uh, one, uh, one, one inside the other, and they're centered. So what we want to do, because they're two separate rings, we want to create one object out of these two. So we select both. And over here, we just want to click on this as well. Oops, not that one. We want to click on this, this one here. And what that does is it creates one object. Um, just do that again just so we can see it um, so we select both uh, rings and over here we want to click on the pathfinder exclude and that'll exclude uh, any gaps there so what we need to do now is drag this to where we want it to go on our stroke so say we want it to go so we want it to go here and just zoom in a little bit so you don't want it to overlap there because that's going to be in the way so we just want to sort of set it up so it's like that and then all we need to do then is we just need to select our ring and we need to select our outer uh, line which is just that object there and then over here we just want to click on this button here which is do that again so you can see pathfinder unite and then once we've got that there we can group so we can group the object and there it is so you can you can set um and set the outer outer ring to a cut layer um i know in k40 whisperer and software like that it's red to cut so you can just do that um and yeah, it's, it, from there, it's it's all a matter of just manipulating uh, what you want to do with the text and then regroup it and then it's ready to cut out. So I hope that helps, guys. I hope that's a nice, easy tutorial for you to follow. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Um, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, that'd be awesome. Thanks, guys.